guys, this is Dan with Gears and Gadgets. Thanks for tuning in. So I'm coming to you guys with another Ford F-150 product review. This is the back Revolver X4S tonneau cover that I just installed uh, a couple days ago here on the truck. So on this channel, you guys have seen me review a lot of tonneau covers. Uh, it gives you kind of a nice finished look to the back. So it does slow down in the last maybe foot or so of operation. So that is the end of the video. This one is not sponsored. And the reason it's not sponsored is because right now with material shortages, it's actually very hard for some of these sponsorships to kind of pan out. So when it came time for me to actually spend my own money on a tonneau cover, I decided that I would go back to the memory banks of all of the actual tonneau covers I've reviewed on this channel, which started out with the Lund Genesis Elite. And then I moved into the Roland Lock E-Series. And then recently I did the Lear HF650M that is a tri-fold or quad-fold uh, cover. And I decided to kind of look at each one of those and take all of their best qualities and put it into what I thought was, I guess, the best cover on the market today on paper. Now this is the back Revolver X4S Tanu cover. And looking at it again on paper, I have not gone through any sort of exhaustive reviews on this yet. It just seemed to have all of the pros, not so many of the cons, and I'm gonna go ahead and walk you through that. It was very basic. I actually installed this thing in just under 40 minutes. It was a really straightforward installation. I'll kind of throw that up here. You actually have a right and left rail. Those rails are attached with three different clamps on each side, so six clamps total. And then all you do is take this cover, roll it out, attach it up at the front of the bulkhead, with four little uh, thumb screws. It's super, super simple. I do have a couple things uh, over here on the tool bench that I have to put on there to kind of button it up. Uh, this was a few days ago that I tossed this on kind of quickly. Also in this video, I'm gonna take this thing through the car wash and show you guys exactly how much water it lets in, which is always interesting in the comments down below. Uh, there's people who will critique high pressure water hitting the backside of this bed at a car wash, just blowing water straight at this weak spot. And they'll say, that's not even waterproof. It is still a pickup truck, and for me, uh, waterproofness isn't necessarily uh, even probably top five of things I'm worried about in terms of a tonneau cover. Anything I put in the back of the bed that stays back there is either in some sort of case, plastic cases, waterproof cases, and if it's not, it's not staying back there. To those kinds of people, just put a topper on the back of the truck and be done with it. Uh, it's certainly something that if you need that kind of waterproof level uh, in the back of a pickup truck, I think that the old PAP cap is the way to go. Uh, so let's go ahead and take a look at this back X4S and let me show you guys some of the things that I absolutely love about it. Power tailgate. So this is pretty much what I have in the bed of my truck. Again, these are all relatively waterproof. Uh, so if any car wash water were to come through the top of the Tainu cover, these have my hitch and some other things, tools. I have some uh, tools, a, uh, an air compressor and things like that over here. Speaking of air compressor, my 60 gallon compressor is now gone. I have where to go, a much smaller downsized unit that I'm gonna do another video on coming up soon. But um, I do have a small plug-in air compressor uh, in that box there. So the back X4S, it releases with a little pull cable here. Just rolls up to the front of the truck. This is actually what I need to do still, which is put some rubber bumpers up here and put the straps over top of it. All in, you can see uh, these aluminum slats are pretty solid. I'm pretty happy with the durability of this. There you see it locks down those aluminum slats. There's a good amount of, of support here. All in, my whole point when it comes to a tonneau cover is that my biggest points of, of security is that you can't get up underneath it here and pull up on it easily and see what's underneath it. So the Lund Genesis Elite that I did originally just had Velcro up here and you could kind of pull it up, peek your head in there, see if anything was worth stealing and then just kind of slice your way into the cover. Now this being aluminum, you can't slice your way into it. Having these locks on the rails here means you can't just lift it up at any place down the cover. So it is nice and secure. And then of course with a power tailgate, um, which isn't something I really need, but power tailgate does close and locks in. Now, one thing that I did have to do 
there was a little piece of weather stripping that was left long on this rail here, actually right here. I had to cut that because it was left kind of dangling out here and it was preventing the uh, tailgate from locking. So I did have to make a little trim on that, but super simple razor blade sliced it off and it was good to go. So getting into the comparison of this to say the Roll and Lock E-Series, which I absolutely loved, the difference is those Roll and Locks, whether it's the E-Series or just the manual roller, has a big box down here that's, I don't know, maybe 10 inches by 10 inches that is basically permanent. And it takes up a whole bunch of area down low. Now I am looking into getting some ramps for the bike not that bike, but this bike. And I want that fender to be able to clear. Let's go ahead and measure that. Looks like we actually only have about 23 inches of room to the top of the tonneau cover or to the bottom of the tonneau cover. Yeah, so 23 inches is gonna get me to just about the top of the fender. So the reason why I went with this cover specifically was that if that is an issue, it's very, very easy to remove. It's just four thumb screws that are easy enough to get to. So if you need to, you can basically just pull it off the truck, put it off to the side if you're gonna take the bike somewhere. With that, this rolling up to the front, this is where comparing this to the Lear quad fold, I wanna say it was a quad fold, the HF650 that I reviewed, that does kind of fold up here and you can actually lock it straight up and down. So you basically gain a little bit more space here or almost all of the space back here so the problem with the Lear HF650M and those types of tri-fold covers, when you fold those up, you can no longer see out of the back of windows. So I decided that this was kind of the best of all of those worlds. Going back to the actual finish of this cover, the Lund Genesis Elite, I loved the way that cover looked. Now it was just a fabric cover, but it had a, a real good matte finish to it. And that's exactly what this cover has. I think that this just looks, in my opinion, better on the back of a truck where it's not super glossy. It just kind of blends into the finish, especially with the plastic rails up here on the bed. I just feel like that is a much nicer look than some of the other covers that I see out on the market. So that is why when I saw this back X4S, I thought, man, that really kind of throws me back to the original cover that I had on, this, uh, on my GMC Sierra when I started the channel and I really liked the way that thing looked. It just lacked a lot of the security. So this is gaining all of the security that you have out of the say roll and lock or those types of aluminum covers with the fit and finish, I guess you'd say of that matte fabric looking like cover, which I think is a really nice look. Now the way this thing latches, I wanted to show you guys also, which is pretty interesting. When you release this and pull up, this releases all of the tension on the cover which is what holds that down. So when you pull this and that comes down, you can no longer push up. So that is what engages into these little teeth here. When that comes out, that's what creates that secure cover. I think that's a really innovative way to approach that is having that uh, latch. When I was looking at other reviews online, I was trying to get a better idea of how these actually lock together. And it appears to me as if those aluminum pieces, th this is not holding anything together. This is more of just a bumper for when the cover's rolled up. So what's happening, it's very hard to show on camera, but these little locks, these aluminum slats, it appears as if as you roll it out, those lock together so you can see that is kind of how that locks in place there. And then each one kind of grabs the other one as you roll it up. It's definitely an interesting design. I, 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 I think I pretty much understand how it works, but it seems to be pretty solid to me. So let me go ahead and put on those little bumpers and tie downs that I have not put on yet just to finish the actual installation. Now, I wasn't really worried about this impact in the glass because it doesn't really look like it wants to go that far. But I know if I don't put them on there, I will blow out the rear window and forever be mad at myself. So these little rubber pieces here, again, these are just bumpers for the window in case this thing were to somehow make contact that it wouldn't uh, blow out that rear window. 
And then the last thing to do is this strap clamp. So there we have one completely installed back Revolver X4S Tanu cover. Just pull it tight. That's how you would secure it if you were going to run with it open. So now let's head over to the car wash and see how this thing does with water. So as I'm pulling up to the car wash here, I just want to reiterate again kind of the point that I made earlier in this video about how I find it pretty funny at times that people think that these Tanu covers should be 100% waterproof. Uh, I've tested a bunch of them on the channel. None are 100% waterproof. If that's what you're looking for, I think that the bed cap is more what you're looking for. Uh, but these tests at the car wash are of course incredibly extreme because it's all pressurized water in a directional manner. You will probably not be in a pressurized downpour where a rainstorm is at a 90 degree angle blowing straight at your tailgate, which is usually the weakness of where these things uh, tend to leak at. So right now we're just going through the brushes. So now there's just a bit of soap being applied. Uh, if I had to guess where this was going to leak, I'd say it'd be uh, right at the rear. Uh, and I don't think there will be a lot of leaking anywhere else, but we'll see. I'll have to come back and do a uh, replay of this, I guess, in the uh, studio. So pressurized, pressurized water just hit the front of the cover now. And it is just kind of rolling off the rear. Hitting it with some soap. And now the, uh, let's see, now the rinse is hitting the front. And this is where we're going to see the air hit the top of the cover. So now that I'm back here in the studio and edited the video and have had a chance to look at the car wash test, I will say it did exactly what I thought it was going to do, which was it leaked up at the actual tailgate, which is fine. I don't care about that. When I have these covers, first of all, I'm not really crazed on the waterproof ability of a Tanu cover, not a huge concern for me, but where I don't want to see water with these Tanu covers and this test is up along the sides of the truck and then up along the bulkhead, because those are the areas where the walls of the bed are actually connected to the bed of the bed. So because water has incredible adhesion properties, any water that gets in is going to come in and then run those surfaces and pool at the bottom. That's why I don't care so much about the tailgate because any of that water that comes in at the tailgate, it doesn't really matter the volume of it because it's going to come in and then just run down the tailgate and exit out the bottom because the tailgate at the bottom is not joined to the bed of the truck. So basically it just runs that surface, exits out the bottom, really not a big concern. You don't get a whole lot of water making it to the actual bed of the truck. So anything that's in the bed isn't really gonna get wet unless it's touching the face of that tailgate. So for me again, not super worried about that because anything I put in the bed for the most part is going to be in a plastic case. My biggest concerns are really around safety and ease of operability. So that's where this cover really shines for me is it has the aluminum slats that lock in place. So it's just intended to keep anybody with sticky fingers. If somebody really wanted to, could they get in there? Sure, probably, but same goes for your car. If somebody really wants to get in there, they can smash a window and grab whatever they want. So, and with that being said, guys, thank you very much for tuning in. If this is your first time tuning in, please hit that subscribe button down below. Remember, likes go a long way to help support the channel. I'll see you guys next time. Hey. Hey.